That's why the Lord stripped them and killed. It's just caused the blood of these innocent animals to flow out and then took those skins and clothed Adam and Eve. You can't skin an animal like that without blood being shed. So right from the beginning, God was the first to preach the gospel in type and picture. And all the way through, he talked about Abel, Cain. What was the difference between those two offerings? It was bloodshed versus works of his hands. All the way up to the cross, where the writer of the Hebrews later said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And I don't know about you, but when I read the scriptures, I look for that. Just like we did in Genesis 22. Where's the blood? Where's the lamb? Where's the sacrifice? And I've been looking for it here. Because there was a sin that was committed. And the Lord purposed it. Let's not forget 2 Samuel 24 and verse 1. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, go number Israel and Judah. And in the end now... David is charged with that sin, that sin laid upon him, that God, the Father, moved him to do. And so you say to yourself, well, how could God blame David if the Lord's the one that moved him to do this? And here we see the mystery of God's providence. Like people ask, well, how could God take his son and number him among transgressors, being God, and charging him with the sin of a people that he came to save? Can you see, begin to see the picture here? God moves in mysterious ways as wonders to perform. 